All right, what's going on YouTube family? Damien here, representing DNA, and well, I bought a new car. It's my bad for like the clickbaity title. I know you guys just saw that clip, uh, but this is, well, new to me, but a used 2011 Volkswagen Jetta, uh, 2.5 SEL. I'm not a car dude. I don't know specs and shit like that, but I'll post like, you know, a list of this car specs like right over there. Um, yeah. So from the clip you probably saw, uh, blue exterior, um, beige interior, oh, okay. beige interior, um, uh, yeah, I love this, like, this car has been, I've had it now for like two, three days, two days, and it's been amazing so far, um, but yeah, I guess, I'll show you guys, that's like just a little media, um, automatic transmission, and yeah, there's, the sunroof is right there, whatever. Um, I don't know if it's like weird to like say how much I paid, but I paid 5K for it, cash, um, which I thought was a really good deal. I mean, I was told it was a really good deal too. Um, yeah. Well, this is my new car. And the other reason I decided to get a car right now for anyone who maybe is wondering, oh, you know, like, why? Um, well, first of all, I, you know, I guess it's just kind of a step in life. Um, I'm graduating within the next, well, finishing my undergraduate within the next few weeks, and I actually start a full-time job at the beginning of next month, and, you know, I need to get there. So, um, I used to share a, uh, that beauty over there with my mother, 2011 Honda Civic, um, and it's a great car but I need something for myself now. So yeah, here we are. All right, what's going on everybody? It's the next day now and I have this package. I actually got this package last week. Um, I know what it is, but I'll show you guys what it is. This is all I ordered, and it came in a box like this. Like, what? There's still more. That's how much is in the trash can right now. And this is all I ordered. So, this is a micro wind jammer from Ry Rycoat. Um, I actually ordered it. The website is called Biztech. B I'll put it in the bio or the description, sorry. So these are called, um, yeah, micro wind jammers because basically for this model of camera, the M100, EOS M100, um, there isn't a input for a actual mic. So when I'm filming outside um, to, you know, limit the, the interruption from like wind and like exterior noise, I don't, ha I can't uh, input a mic. So I got these, they're called wind jammers. So, um, that's actually how they look, that little like gray fuzzy thing. Um, and yeah, I will switch over to my phone now to show you guys how to properly install these. All right, now we're filming on my iPhone here. So this is the uh, camera that I use, the Canon EOS M100. So before installing the wind jammers, you're gonna come to the menu page here. Um, this is touch screen, but I'm just gonna come over to drop menu 8, move up here to sound recording, so go to the wind filter and automator setting, I don't know if I said that right, okay, so we want the wind filter to be um, on auto, and come back, and the automator to be on like that, okay, so um, again, I'm not too familiar with exactly how um, like the specs of all these things, but um, from what I've understood and what I've learned, we need to have these two settings as so. Um, and then we have the wind jammers here, Ryko wind jammers. So just to give you guys a little breakdown of what it comes with. So these are the wind jammers themselves, these little fuzzy puff things. But these is what we will be 
attaching onto the two holes right here is where the audio comes out of for the camera. So we will be placing these on top of those and then putting the wind jammers on top of this. Sorry, if this is kind of a weird setup, I've never done this before, so not bad about that. But first things first, we're gonna have to cut these so we can probably place them onto the camera. Um, just a note, if you do end up purchasing these um, and you have the Canon EOS M100 camera, um, when you place the wind jammers on, it will block the flash from coming up. And also because of the placement, it will block a little bit of the bottom of your screen when you look to tilt it up like that. Um, so that's just a heads up. But I do think that the, the wind jammers are very useful if you do plan to record outside. Um, so, you know, those little uh, disadvantages um, don't really weigh, uh, outweigh the advantages that the wind jammers uh, provide. So now we are going to install. Okay, so when installing the tabs, this is how you place them. So the pad itself, or these little tab things, sorry, whatever they're called, you're gonna place them over each hole. So I did have to cut one slightly, otherwise you won't be able to use uh, the dial here. Um, but after you install them like that, you'll just peel off this part here. As so, oh, I'm gonna fuck that. Okay, and just make sure that it's all right. So that's how it will be there. And then you're gonna take the wind jammers, okay? So the part going back like that, like this, when it goes back like that, so that's, this is actually the front and this is the back of the wind jammer. So you want the front facing the lens, so you're going to place them on top. So just firmly press that onto the thing. At least you can kind of comb it back so it looks nice. So that's one. So again, I don't want to disrupt the dial here. So I will be sort of placing it more on top of this first one, just so it doesn't cover that completely. So I'm gonna do kind of that. Um, that kind of looks whack. Let me try to adjust that one second. Okay, so we got them on. I actually had to place this one on first and then that one on top, just so I can properly still use this knob here okay um, so again it will block the flash that comes up here and um, as I mentioned earlier it will block a little bit of the screen if you're holding the camera like that but I do think that um, having the micro wind jammers is very useful um, and that you know your audio will be protected better when you're outside filming and if it's windy or even if it's not windy, you just have a little better uh, audio. So yeah, that's how it looks. So again, the front will be the side that is like more flat, and then the back will be the side that pops out here like that. Um, this isn't the perfect placement, but yeah, um, there is. It does come with a full pack, so if I do need to replace um, a few of them here and there, should be okay. All right guys, we're outside now testing out the wind jammers. So it's actually not that bad in terms of like it blocking the bottom half of the screen. Um, let me see if you guys can see that. Like, oh, that's not good. Well, anyways, yeah, so we got some wind going. So hopefully the audio is not too disrupted because of that. Uh, it's actually a good day to test them out. So hopefully, yeah, the audio sounds all right. And yeah, so I'll give a better review on how they work probably in a week or so after actually using them a bit more and let you guys know.